You're looking live from Sky 5 this morning as the marathon and half marathon runners get ready to cross that start line. Let's check in with Adam Hammond. He's down there this morning. Adam, we, we should be just minutes away and there they go. They just started it. Amy, they just started it. Here it goes. They're crossing the start line right now. We have a crew in that pace car. You can watch them the whole way as they run. Here come our first runners in Corral 1. Take a look at them as they go by us right here live. This is Corral 1, the first group of runners to take off here at the St. Jude Rock and Roll Marathon in Nashville. Our Chris Conti is in this corral. He is as well as five There goes, that was, Dan, that was Dan, did you see? Dan Kennedy right there <laughs> ran straight by us in the first corral. So we have a lot of new Channel 5 family members in this race. So here's how this works. That was the first corral. They started the 26.2 miles, they're taking off. And then here's the next corral. Corral two is down to five seconds before they start this race. Let's listen in. Corral two now officially taking off. This is just the first few steps in this long journey. 26.2 miles for most of these runners. A lot of these runners also run into half marathon, 13.1. and. I got to tell you, every single one of these runners has a different story. They're running for different reasons. They have different skill levels. They have different training stories. And here they all are together, starting their journey today as they run through Nashville, really seeing the best of our city, running through all of our landmarks, seeing the best of our people. That's what Nashville is all about, is the great people. And, and tens of thousands of people are going to be lining the streets to support them today. You can see from Sky 5 these huge crowds taking off. 30,000 runners out here today, Amy. It's really incredible to see. It is incredible to see and from the wheelchair racers who are inspiring to each and every one of those runners today. I like what Chris Conti said earlier. You talk about human energy when you get in a group like this and you take off, you know, you, you feel like running is such a solo uh, sport and it, it's you're a quiet runner and you're solitary, but when you come together like this, it truly becomes a team sport. And if you don't, if you're not a runner, and in and, and, and this, I'm, I'm not a runner personally, I should say, but I've talked to so many people who uh, have, have motivated me to, to try to get involved and to pick up this sport because, you know, they say, that it, it just mentally and physically is something that that once you start and once you continue, uh, if you'll stick with it, that the benefits health wise and of course mentally, Adam, as you yeah. know, I mean, it just you you can't compare it to anything else. So what are what are these runners did, thinking? Did you see Elvis? <laughs> Elvis just ran by like we've seen unicorns. We've seen Elvis. We've seen bachelorettes from Florida. We've seen it all out here. <laughs> so having been here myself, you know, I ran a marathon and at this point in the race, a lot of people run with groups. I trained with the group. And when you talk about connecting with people and having that team atmosphere, you are just so supportive of your team members and you don't want to let your team down. So when you're starting this point now, there's some butterflies, but you are in beast mode. This is like your warrior moment when you cross that finish line or that start right line rather like this group uh, five i believe that's starting right here they just got out of the corral and they are ready to go they are they know what's ahead of them and you know how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time so these people are just <laughs> taking their first nibble at that at that elephant and i want to talk to somebody right here we you know we were talking to our friend earlier you're going to be running a little later, but we're talking about, you know, supporting your teammates. You're here also supporting your wife. She's already started. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, so my wife's really fast. I'm really slow. The tortoise and the hare. <laughs> um, we, we moved up or uh, we came up from Orlando, Florida. So these hills are going to be absolutely brutal, but she's going to have a great race. And I'm just going to follow behind and soak up, you know, Nashville and take my time and really enjoy it while she's running really fast. But, but hey, you're doing it. And, and for a lot of people, it's all about a personal, you're running your own personal race. It's not about, you're not trying to beat your wife's time. You're not trying to beat your friend's time. You're just trying to finish and, and accomplish your goal, right? I mean, this is what I love about running. You have, you know, really skinny, fast people. And then you have people like me who just, you know, enjoy life and want to just see, you know, places that you've never seen before in a way that most people don't get to experience it. All right, well, I think you look great. You're doing a great job out here. 
Now you're from Orlando, you said? We are, yep. So tell me about that. Why did you want to come here to Nashville to be a part of this? We can see from Sky 5, the crowds out here, and our city is really just rallying around this. I mean, have you, like, you're from Nashville. We are not. So, I mean, just the atmosphere last night with the Predators, I mean, tough loss. I mean, come on. But, we'll come I mean, back. No worries. We're coming back. Abs absolutely. I mean, I just... I mean, you look around us and the crowds here and just the atmosphere of the people. I mean, you got the southern charm and, you know, just a little bit of rockabilly. I mean, who, who doesn't love it? Awesome. We're so glad you're here. Thank you for coming. Best of luck to you and best of luck to your wife. It's going to be an awesome day and the weather's going to be perfect for you. We're here. And so good thing you didn't come last year. 91 degrees last year. People were falling out. Hopefully this year is going to be a whole lot better. We appreciate you. So you're looking at the runners right here. They're just starting. The start line, we're having different groups, different corrals starting. They're uh, gradually getting going, these crowds. We're going to keep our coverage going live from here at the start line, coming up in just a minute after this break.